Born Lena Krasner on October 27, 1908, in Brooklyn, New York, USA, Lee was the fourth of the five children of Chain, Nay Weiss, and Joseph Krasner. Her Russian Jewish parents were originally from Shpaikiv, located in present day Ukraine. One of her siblings was a sister named Ruth. Krasner always had aspirations of becoming an artist. She attended Washington Irving High School for Girls and did an art major there. She then enrolled at the Women's Art School of Cooper Union on a scholarship. Later, she joined the National Academy of Design, graduating in 1932. In 1928, she attended the Art Students League of New York, where she was taught by George Bridgman. In 1937, she joined a class ran by Hans Hoffmann, who helped her in updating her methods of painting nude and still life. During this period, she worked as a waitress, but due to the Great Depression, she was unable to sustain herself. As a result, she decided to become part of the Works Progress Administration's Federal Art Project in 1935, where her duties included creating larger versions of other artists' designs. Lenore Lee Krasner was an American artist who garnered fame for her work involving abstract expressionism. She gained special recognition for her collages. Her marriage to Jackson Pollock eclipsed her accomplishment as an artist during her lifetime, but there was a significant amalgamation between their approaches to art. Krasner, whose style was influenced by the likes of George Bridgman and Hans Hoffmann, was more structured between the two, particularly while painting human anatomy. On the other hand, Pollock's method was more intuitive and unregulated. In the years they were together, each had a drastic effect on the other's art. A New York native, Krasner went on to spend most of her life in various parts of the state. She always harbored a deep passion for art and started painting when she was a teenager. At present, she is considered a crucial transitional figure within abstraction who served as a link between the early 20th century art and the new ideas of post-war America. Her paintings are now highly valued. Krasner has the distinction of being one of the handfuls of female artists to get a retrospective show at the Museum of Modern Art.